What's going on, people? It's Mr. Bayes, and we need to talk right now because I'm currently 28,000 in the world on FPL. It's only game week number five, and I'm here to try and prove to you that you don't need to be a YouTuber, a professional gamer, a professional streamer, or just someone who follows all these YouTubers and all these accounts to try and find out exactly how to play this game. You don't need to, and I'm the proof of it. Now, this was my team, right? This was my team last week. Game week five, we're into game week six now. This is my team, right? And as you can see, the captain is on Salah. Now, the whole world, everybody, including you, went with Haaland as your captain, right? I know you did. I know you did. And that's why you're here, because you need some advice. But I thought, let me try to be a little dip different, right? I looked at the stats. I looked at Salah's, Salah's current form. I thought 99.9% .9 of the world are playing this game. Nine million accounts are going with the big man, Haaland, because you know how good that guy is, right? I thought, let me try something a little different. So I put all my chips on Salah. I kind of looked at the other, the rest of the team and I thought, I'm not really going to get too many points elsewhere. Probably like we did, we got points with um, Arsenal. I thought I might get a few more points with um, Tottenham. The clean sheet didn't work out with Chilwell, but Sanchez did really well. And Alvarez, obviously, I was thinking about even Captain and Alvarez, but he did really well as well for Man uh, Manchester City. Now, I've done this, I got 65 points over an average of 44. This has skyrocketed me from, I think I was something like 100,000 or 200,000 in the world over the past couple of weeks up to 28k and i'm so happy about that i was actually 17k at one point uh and then burnley played um and i think it was not in the forest and that kind of dropped my dropped my score down a little bit but it's all good 24k in the world in the world i don't think you guys understand how gassed i am about this season now i've had a really good start and i'm looking to continue that into this week this is my current team don't copy me all right do your own thing because I know all of you are bringing in uh, Salah this week. You're bringing in players like Botman, Trippier, Alvarez, if you don't already have him. I know how it goes. You guys, don't jump on the trends, okay? You've got to play your own game. Because if you copy these YouTubers and these streamers and you think you want to, you know, be like them and you're going to be top, you know, top thousand at the end of the game week, that's not how it works. You've got to do your own thing and you've got to watch your own games. Use the eye test. Don't just look at stats online. Because if you look at stats online, my team here should be worth hundreds of points every week because these are the best at the moment. But what's going to happen is you might get Walker who might not play. You might get Saka who might have a bad game against Tottenham. It doesn't make a difference. There's no one in this team apart from Brian and Buemo of Brentford and Madison of Tottenham who I would change right now. But this team is solid. I'm looking forward to it. I've gone with Haaland again because I'm going to play it safe. I'm now 28,000 in the world. I want to keep it in that sort of range. We're on a good roll. Um, like I say, guys, do your own thing. It's a game. You know, don't copy other people. Just play the game. Use your football knowledge and think about it, you know, when the end of the game happens. Think about it. Do players need rests? Uh, did that player not play well? Did that player have lots of opportunities and he didn't take them? This could be your game week. Good luck, guys. Get back to me. That's my team. Let's hopefully get 70-plus points this week. Bless Mr. Baisden.